Hello everyone, I just finished work, so I'm uh, very late uh, to all the announcements uh, about the trailers and gameplay footage and stuff, so we're starting off with Zack Snyder's Justice League. This came out about 50 minutes ago, so let's uh, get into it. I will say this, IGN ruined the surprise for me because yes, I know Darkseid's gonna be in this, but IGN uh, posted a screenshot of uh, Darkseid, so now I know what he looks like. Thanks a lot, IGN. So uh, other than that, I know nothing about this trailer. Let's check it out. I hope it's good. And for some reason, oh, it's the first thing you see. that David played and it pleased the Lord. But you don't really care. Wait, this song. I just watched a Watchmen movie like a couple of weeks ago. It goes like this. The fourth. I know it's a classic song, but still. It's interesting that he chose the 4 3 aspect. I know it's for the trailer. It's definitely not for the entire movie. Ah, oh, Black Suit Superman. Oh, finally, Barry doing something. <laughs> yes, Iris. <laughs> I did my best. Cyborg. Couldn't feel, so I tried to touch. I've told the truth. I didn't come to fool you. Oh, Steppenwolf? That's what he looks like, huh? Mother box. He dies in this version? Oh, Steppenwolf looks sick. <laughs> oh, he, Batman actually blocked it, nice. Okay, so far this looks much better than the Josh Whedon version. Oh man. Nice. This guy's probably fought hundreds of thousands of other super beings on the other planets. He's destroyed, right? And we have to assume he's won. I don't care how many demons he's fought and how many hells. He's never fought us. Not us united. Man, that is awesome. I like it. I really like uh, Let me take a look at Dark Side again. Okay, um There was a I mean, they still have time because they could finalize the look of them and stuff like that, render it up properly, uh give them more details and stuff like that. Um because you could yeah, you could definitely tell you CGI, uh, but it's not bad. Uh, but you could definitely tell. <laughs> um, like I said, they still have time. We just don't know when it's going to be uh, released. So it's uh, 2021. It could even be December, even though I hope it's not that long because that's almost another year. <laughs> I'm just hoping that they do sh um, have this. Uh, uh, they release this as soon as possible. But um, if they want to take their time with it, they can. Um, at least it's a reality. It's not like a Warner Brothers is going to say, hey, uh, we give up on the Ju uh, Zack Snyder Justice League. So we're just going to cancel the whole project again. <laughs> That'll be so hilarious. Oh, man. And um, I will say this. Uh, this has nothing to do. This kind of has something to do to, uh, to do with the trailer. But Zack Snyder uh, tweeted this out earlier. And I got to say, I don't like that tweet it's about uh, him uh, i guess i don't really know the full story but i guess it's against uh, a critic or someone who uh, doesn't really like zack snyder's work i don't know the history of that but um the thing is that what zack snyder uh, tweeted out i honestly think that's kind of ironic because he said this is uh, made for grown-ups and i'm like it's superman it's batman it's wonder woman you gotta admit, it started off for kids, right? You can't just say, oh, this is just grown-ups. I don't know. I disagree with that. Um, but 
here's the thing. I do like him as a director, and uh, anybody could write off a stupid tweet once in a while. I just hope that Zack Snyder doesn't keep tweeting shit like that. So he has to admit, it's superheroes. Come on. They are originally four kids. You can make a grown-up version of superheroes, fine. But you have to admit, it's Superman, Wonder Woman, Batman, The Flash. Is this going to be rated R then? Is that what you're uh, saying? Like, there's going to be blood and gore, decapitations, nudity, stuff like that, bad language? Uh, is this an R-rated version of uh, Justice League? That one I'm interested in. But uh, other than that, if you're going to keep it like PG-13, hell, the Avengers is for kids, you know? And no one's saying that's a bad thing. So, yeah, I don't like that tweet from Zack Snyder. Um, I am... You know what? I was a bit worried because um, I was wondering how much footage they're actually going to show in this. And, yeah, um, even if it's the little things, like this one, uh, Wonder Woman uh, interacting with a girl, that didn't happen in the uh, Josh Whedon version. They just, after she rescued them, I believe that was it. So... Yeah, I'm glad that there's more interactions, and I'm happy that they actually bring this uh, scene back because that was one of the scenes I was really looking forward to. Barry Allen uh, exp uh, using his power and uh, saving I uh, Iris. So, yeah, I'm uh, excited for that. And I feel bad for her because she wanted to be Iris, and they cut her out, and uh, she's most likely not going to be Iris again, and hopefully she shows up in uh, Flashpoint because I do like this actress. I think she's really good. Um, and from what it looks like, it show it looks like there's a lot of new footage, and I'm excited about that. This is Steppenwolf, I believe, right? So if that is, then he does look better than before, even though the chin thing is kind of weird. Um, I do like that. Oh my god, this part I'm not shocked about. That they actually... Yeah, he is, he is dead. I... Yeah, I don't know why do you want to show this off, though. He was originally supposed to die? That's kind of sucks, because that's one thing I was looking forward to from the Josh Whedon version, because uh, Cyborg is, ex uh, even though he uh, is a machine, he still uh, has his uh, human uh, side to him, and he's willing to work that out with his father, and that the ending of the Josh Whedon Justice League, I do like. I have to admit that. But yeah, he's dead. Unless he comes back again. Maybe similar to how Dr. Manhattan is from Watchmen. <laughs> and yeah, the song. Uh, I'm sorry. That's why I'm laughing. If you watched the uh, Watchmen from Zack Snyder, you know uh, the song because it was used in that scene where Night Owl was having sex with uh, uh, Silk Spectre. Uh, Silk Spectre. Sorry. I got some uh, saliva. Sorry. So yeah, that scene made me laugh so much. Even the, I saw it a couple weeks ago again, and yeah, it still made me laugh. But again, oh yeah, the armor looks better. He does look more threatening, look more intimidating. And the face does look better. But yeah, this is what he should have looked like. I don't know why they decided to make him look derpy in the Josh Whedon version. So yeah, and yeah, some of this footage is the exact same from the just, uh, the Josh Whedon version, but again, I'm glad that looks new. So that's good. I'm excited for this. I already talked too much about it. I gotta watch the other trailers. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Later.